So when we first opened Donkey, we knew that music and art was going to be a big part of this. And um, I'm just a huge music geek, and I love um, aesthetics on the walls as well. When I walk into other coffee shops and I see something great, um, that's partly what inspired me to do that. So, um, yeah, I think just having music and art and then, you know, the idea of hospitality and social justice make up the kind of the four pillars of Donkey. So when we first opened Donkey, like all of our walls were blank, there was nothing on there. And it looked kind of almost dead. And I was really curious to know what it would look like when we first got something um, up there. And so when we did get artists in to, to put up their stuff, I mean, it absolutely changed the aesthetic of the shop. Also, people always buy um, a handful of art from any show that they um, that we put up. And that's really cool too, because the artists can make some money and just feels good to be able to sell local art as well help out local artists. I really like the variety of things that we get just because I think it, it lends so much to the atmosphere, especially in the back room. The whole space just seems to transform when it uh, changes a lot from one kind of art show to the next. We have a range of uh, sometimes longtime local artists, sometimes student artists, um, and sometimes we'll have art from people in other areas who want to establish um, an audience here in Athens. So I'm a local artist and I do not drink coffee and so I have only been to the donkey one time. <laughs> uh, however, a good friend of mine is a writer, a local writer, and he comes to the donkey to write. Um, at one point he said uh, that my work would fit in well at the space and that it was time for a new show. <laughs> He's ready for some new art on the walls. So then I proposed the show to Troy um, and then set it up and it's been interesting response. and having a show in this space. It's nice. Um, I actually, you know, one of my other friends had her stuff up and then at some point Tori needed someone to put art up in the middle room so it would be blank and then Hannah, my friend, told him about me and then he contacted me and I was like, yeah, I'll tell you to put stuff up. So now I'm here. <laughs> I've been pouring, pouring paint for about 20 years and the inspiration then started as just um, scientific images, like microscopic images. My husband does science, I'm the arts. Um, so it's always started with that. So they're like split into like two like collections, if I want to use that word, for the two different parts in the middle room. And one's like black and white, like urban patterns. And then the other one is plants and nature. So I took a lot of the urban pictures in Europe this summer and while I was there, I just like, I missed Athens just because there was not a lot of like free nature. All the parks are like super groomed. From the feedback after, while having the show here, um, people love the donkey. People love this room. <laughs> and I've never known that, but uh, I get it now. It's a, it's a nice, it's a great space. And so I, I do like having my show here and the fact of the wider audience. I would recommend that other artists do the same thing. They get the opportunity just because it helps you put your name out there and you also get to know some of the donkey employees a little more intimately and that's really awesome because those are connections for life. You can always like display again or just come here during open mics and like know people and that's a really good feeling and a good way to get involved in the community a little more.